so obviously everybody's all geeked up. Dow thirty thousand. Oh yeah. How oh, are yeah, you? We, You're you got your bat in your hands. So I feel like we've been here before. Dow you know. thirty thousand geeked up. Yeah. Well, I mean, it, it the market's looking to hit for the cycle right now. I mean, you've had basically uh, every major index have its moment this year, and now the Dow's catching up because it's it's in it's industrial heavy. Uh, it's got a lot of these. Um, yeah, it is the Dow Jones Industrial. You know, it's interesting. Go ahead. Yeah. Well, I, I, you know, you're talking to me about me and my bat. You know, you you're uh, you're all in black today, and you've got a little bit of a of a Jerry Glanville going to you. Remember? You like the Glanville? It's funny you say you Jerry. You got you working a few minutes ago. Somebody, I today. think on the Twitter, I saw something about Jerry Glanville. Come Obviously, on. the great Why coach you... of the Atlanta Falcons. Yeah, like Jerry Glanville had he had yeah. an attitude. You know, you don't get those types of personality. I mean, everything is so homogenized. Well, he was, I mean, he, he, he definitely, and he wore a, you know, he wore a nice 10 gallon hat. I mean, sure he, he, did. he, he was like uh, OA bum Phillips. I was going to say, he was a poor man's bum Phillips, but so let, I was saying, so Dow 30,000, you know, it got me thinking, I read the book into thin air. I think it was the John Krakauer book about yeah. summiting Everest and that's 29,000 and change feet. And would you even consider doing something like that? You know, I would, but I'm I'm one of those people that that make those those claims like I'd love to do X because I, I believe in in accomplishments, and then I never just I never do it. I mean, I, I've threatened to run a marathon too, and I've never done that. So um, I probably should start with that. But but I I I think I, I I honestly I think this is either one of these things that comes out of the idiocy of youth, or this is one of these things that comes out of out of uh, a midlife crisis because I. I I haven't really wanted to, I never wanted to do this kind of stuff as a kid. And while I don't would like to believe I'm not going through any type of a midlife crisis, uh, I, I think that that kind of stuff is, is interesting to me now at this stage in my life. Everest, you're asking, absolute, you're asking, I mean, I'm it, being it, honest. It, it, I'm terrifi just, you know. it, it terrifies me. It just, it's one of those things. Are you scared of heights? You, no, I mean, it's, not a, it's not about heights. It's like that whole oxygen deprivation and you could be, you could be in the best shape. You could be the, the best conditioned human being on that's the true. planet and that you can go true. up there and you could just drop dead. And that's, and the, you know, the crazy thing is you die up there. You ain't getting, nobody's bringing you down. No, and they find, no. they find preserved bodies. Why you know, are we talking about this? Nice, this is no, because I'm, now 30,000 mounted. Well, so, well, this so is, here's a record for you. Here's yeah, one this, for you. This sounds 30, like we're 000. unattainable. Right. And we thought that the president, was president came out today and did a 65 second, um, Whatever that was, Which press president? conference Which briefing, president? the new one of the president. No, no, no. Current President Trump, okay. and he, you know, okay. he talked about how so many records under his administration, and Dow thirty thousand. <laughs> no, of course, nobody ever, nobody ever thinks anything's possible. But, and I was thinking to myself, okay, what is one of those baseball records? Now we talked about Cy Young, five hundred eleven wins and over three hundred losses. Neither one of those is going to yeah, get. Yeah, you were broken, good on that. Yeah, thank yep. you. I appreciate that. But this is one I thought of. Hack Wilson, I believe in 1931, don't at me if I'm off by year, knocked in, now wait for this, 190 91. runs. And then, and then in 1998, Major League Baseball came in a, and, and changed it to 191. Think about that. Is that ever, they could win 200 they do that? Hold games. Hold on, why'd they do that? Yes, they why'd went they back, they went back and looked at the, the footage, the footage the archive. From, nine, from, from when? I mean, and they added, they, they added an RBI. You know, people live for this stuff. I mean, all these wonks, like that Evan Roberts guy in WFAN, who is such a goober. I like, I'll stop but he, leaving no, him he's alone, a, man. No, he bring, no, he brings, up, brings up good points. You're a stats guy. No, That's no, no, a whole no, point no, 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 people no. I, I love baseball. You, listen, I know why you like Evan Roberts. There's why? one reason. He's a Met fan? You, he's a Met exactly. fan. Exactly. You know what? You know what? I don't think that's right. Uh, and, and Met fans have proven that they're not just uh, towing the line just to be yes men. Um, and so I'm not going to be a yes man because this guy likes the Mets. Wasn't that uh, a know, Toto song or is that not toe the line or draw the line, the line or hold the line, hold Toto. the line. Toto. Um, Toto. Love isn't right. always on time. Um, no, but I mean, the question is, why did, why did Weezer do a remake of Toto's Africa? I love Weezer, by the way. Uh, someone just, my, my buddy Cy just sent me a video. Hold on of Weezer. This is what we do. So Sai sends me a video. Is that you gotta, Cy, is that Sai S Y Sai or that's, yeah, C Y? That, yeah. No, S Y, like like Seymour. Like if 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 he and I uh, were brothers, we'd be Seymour Seymour. 
Right. Um, so just FYI. So this is Weezer's, check it out, Troublemaker. This is a crazy, it's such a great video. I'm not, I'm not gonna explain why. So maybe um, we should link that to it. So didn't Weezer also sing um, the Buddy Holly song? Yeah, yeah. Uh, can make. And which that's off the blue album. Um, of course it is. As opposed to the green album and the red album. Um, but, but Weezer did a remake of Toto's Africa that sounded exactly like the original. Now there's Weezer, you'd think they would have roughed it up a little bit, but it, it's almost indistinguishable. And it, they had almost as much success with it, which is another thing we could bring up, um, is people that did remakes that were more successful than the original. Interesting. Um, th Interesting. Th 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 that's for is, another so time. I, so here you go. So what about, um, Metallica, I think in 1997 did an album. They covered a couple turn, songs. Turn the page. Turn the page. Turn the page. Seeger. Turn the page. Seeger. And, and, and um, uh, Tuesday's way, Gone was on that album as well, the by Seeger, the way. Seeger, It Keeps You Running from Forrest Gump, um, I think, right? It, oh, that's the it Doobies. It Keeps You Running is the Hold Doobie on. Brothers, the which Doobies. is an, an abominable Awful. song. I hate the Doobies. And, and by the way, the... Um, the Yacht Rock guys are big fans of our show right here. And, and, and I've been winding up the Yacht Rock guys telling everyone how much I hate Michael McDonald. And it bums people out because he's, he's a godfather in, in Yacht Rock. Uh, I don't even know how we got here, but, but Cal Ripken's 36, what is it, 92, something like that? Ridiculous. Uh, Ridiculous. Consecutive, that will never be broken because people today are so soft. And, and, and I think the, the commitment to anything in sports has often been diluted down by money uh, or something even you know, more by the tangible way, than that. There's, there's so. a great story about Cal Ripken and Kevin Costner and how Cal Ripken's streak was in jeopardy. Um, but the owners of the Orioles, the, the, I think it was Peter, Peter Angelos. Angelos. Yeah, who's, who's, he called who's, in. He, ca he called an electrician, dismal. and they actually uh, sabotaged the electrical system of uh, then Camden Yards, I guess. So they had a a rain out without any rain to save Cal Ripken Street. Now I won't get into great detail as to what the but, but circumstances why surround. Why that. why were we dancing with wolves? But um, I encourage our why? listeners, a commercial break, to go and check that one out because that's a great anecdotal story. No, hold on. And I don't so know there, how we got there. I think there, there's an the unfortunate way. marital infidelity thing here. Is that? Is I, that I, I, I I believe I, that's you know part you of know the story. I, you know, but I, who are who are we to sort of you know throw fuel on that fire? And I know, listen, I know Costner's a big fan of this, so. We so don't no, get no, him I in mean trouble. Costner. It's funny because Costner, who who was Yuri um, in No Way Out, um, great movie. Is, she was Sean a big Young, fan by of the way. Show. Jean Sean, Hackman, oh, she was peak. Fantastic. She, she movie. was. I mean, she. That's one of the great movies of all times. In fact, that took place when I was when we were in in, in Georgetown, and it it seemed to have a little bit more excitement because of uh, just being in the nation's capital. Sure. And, and so Yuri. So Costner is Yuri. Maybe his best role. Um, no, 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 no. That's that is that's patently false. Dude, what, no. I'm sorry. So you liked him more in Bull Durham? I mean, I liked him more in Bull Durham. No, I that, mean, you know yeah. what? That, I could have written that script in my sleep, man. I mean, that was every cliche in the world. Meanwhile, No Way Out. I mean, I, yeah, you know, I was a nail biter. Yeah. Trying to well, look. Back to, speaking to, of nail biters, if we don't get out of here, <laughs> we're gonna, you know, Luke right, is so gonna. Give, what 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 takes to Dow thirty thousand? What in Dow 30 to Dow 40,000 do you think is going to be different or what stands out to you? Is, so great question. And with the 30 seconds we have, is it technology? Is that going to continue to grind higher? Or is it the old stodgy cyclical names and some of these automakers like your Ford and GM? Is that going to take us to the next level? I, I tell you what, um, in the same way that Amazon is no longer a technology company, you, so you hear me now, um, I, I think everyday industrial companies who have adopted technology and now it's going to go back to the brands you heard it here um i think everyone adopts technology everyone must innovate they're no longer just technology companies in fact it's the consumer companies and those with brands so yes dead money from 20 to thirty thousand will be live money from 30 to forty thousand guy uh nothing like a fine piece of hickory as uh, clint eastwood once said name the movie by the way you uh, Nothing oh, no. like a fine. He beat the sh you know what out of somebody and then tossed the, the piece of wood at him and he said, nothing like a fine. Piece you tell of me. Quick. I think outlaw Josie Wales. Take care, buddy. See you later.